Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited because I finally am doing a cosmetic haul, which is from doo -doo -doo, Sephora. So I haven't shopped in Sephora in a minute, you guys, like, or just in general for like cosmetics. So I'm like super excited about this one. So I can't wait to show you guys everything. I'm also very excited to let you guys know that this video is being sponsored by Rakuten. Rakuten, you guys, it was formerly known as Ebates. If you guys go back all the way to 2015, because that's when I first started using them, if you guys go back to my videos, ever since then, I have always included a link in my description box so you guys can sign up with them so you guys can get cash back because Rakuten is known as the largest cashback site with partners over 2,500 stores of like stores that, any, that you can already think of like Sephora, Ulta, Macy's, Old Navy. I mean, any store that you can think of, they are partnered up with them so that way you guys can receive cashback. So if you're already shopping online like you always do, then you have been missing out on receiving cashback. So it's totally free, you guys. All you have to do is just sign up. And as a, as a welcome bonus, you guys get $10 if you guys use my link in my description box right now to sign up. So after you make your first purchase of $25, you get $10, baby. So if you guys want to sign up, I'm going to have a link down below in the description box so that way you guys can check it out. But it's so easy to use, you guys. Like literally... You just search up the store that you're already gonna go buy. For example, I'm gonna search up Sephora because obviously this is what my haul is about. Um, you just search up Sephora, you look at the cashback that it has going on right now. It's always changing, by the way. So once you search up the store, you click shop now, and it'll take you to the site, and then you can just shop like you normally do. And it's like, I said, like I said, it's like the easiest thing ever, and like you're receiving cashback. Also, very excited because we are going to be having a giveaway for you guys about $250 gift card so all you have to do is click the link in my description box the second link that i'm going to have the link there and you guys can just enter to win the 250 dollars gift card but the rules are very very simple all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you sign up with rakuten there is no purchase required you don't have to purchase anything all you have to do is just sign up for free like i said the giveaway is only open to u.s and canadian residents only and as far as the details of when it's going to end and all that stuff it's going to be all all listed down in the description box so that way you guys can check it out but i am so excited for you guys so that way you guys can get a 250 gift card yeah everything's gonna be linked down below in my description box you guys so that we guys can sign up and also enter the giveaway but again thank you to rakuten for sponsoring today's video um because literally i use rakuten to place my sephora orders so yeah anyways i am so excited to show you guys everything that i have in here so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and just start showing you guys everything that i have in here so starting out you guys right away the first thing that i really wanted to stock up on was foot mask you guys ever since quarantine i have not i've only done i think once a pedicure that was before the whole shutdown again but ever since like i i take care of my own feet you guys <laughs> so it's not like a big hassle because thankfully i don't have such problematic feet or anything but i still want my feet to be super super soft and nice and i don't know i just kind of like when i want to do like my little pamp routine i i, I want to do something to my feet because i just feel like i'm neglecting them so um i did stock up on these foot masks from sephora these are the coconut foot masks i wanted to get the other ones but they're completely sold out i feel like every girl right now is kind of trying to do the same as me where they're like trying to take care of their feet at home because like i said a lot of nail salons are like closed down or like I don't know maybe there's some people like me that are just too scared to go <laughs> yeah so i stocked up on these and the other ones were sold out which i did really badly want the other ones but these work fine too that you're gonna make your feet really really soft but these are supposed to be nourishing and to repair so i mean i i've tried it once and it made my feet so soft so i was like you know what give me five of them right now <laughs> so yeah i got five of them because i'm like girl i need these for my feet <laughs> talking about my feet i also made this purchase from locatine i don't know how to pronounce their brand <laughs> this is a foot cream and it's supposedly for dry skin or anything like that it had amazing reviews so that is why i decided to purchase it so it looks like this 
I I haven't tried it. Like I said, obviously I'm just rarely getting to my order, like opening up the box and everything. But I am so excited to try this. So I'm gonna let you guys know how it works. But like I'm telling you, the reviews were crazy. So this one is enriched with shea butter, and supposedly it's going to melt into the skin to help like nourish it, soften the dry and damaged feed. Um, it also has lavender essential oils. I mean, this stuff sounds great, honestly. So I'm excited to use it and try it out. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how it works out. Another thing that I wanted to get my hands on really badly was to try the Wave um, Super Dry Shampoo. I really didn't like their original dry shampoo that they first came out with. I, I just don't feel like it was doing anything to my hair, honestly. It, it smelled nice but i just felt like it didn't do much you know um but this one supposedly it's like another better level than the original um so i'm gonna try it out and see how it works for me just because you guys know i'm always doing i'm always using dry shampoo just because i work out a lot and yeah my hair can be really like bad so i am always like on the lookout for new and different like dry shampoos just so i can try it out but yeah, this one caught my attention and it had um, some okay reviews. Um, they also show like the before and after images on their site and I was just like blown away. So I was like, I need to try this. So um, hopefully it works out really good. I'll let you guys know how it goes for me. The next two products that I got are deodorants. Now these are supposedly natural deodorants. Um, I just, I've always been a Dove girl. Like I've always used Dove for a very long time. And although they are now making um, deodorants with no aluminum and stuff like that, are, that's bad. But I wanted to kind of like venture out and see how these work out just because they had like pretty okay reviews. And I don't know, I, I, just, I just have heard that the first couple times or at least a month or so of when you switch to a natural deodorant it it's kind of like a love and hate relationship but then after you get used to it i guess it's like the best thing ever everybody loves it and everything like that so i mean if i can get my body to adapt to a natural deodorant that'll be a win-win situation for me yeah so i got the one from drunk elephant this is the sweet petite petite i don't even know if that's how you say it but the sweet petite deodorant cream so this one is like a cream which is going to be very interesting for me because i'm not used to creams but then i also got the real gale be well tea tree and e eucalyptus clean deodorant um so yeah like i said this one doesn't have any aluminum talc or parabens and yeah they're both vegan so we'll see how We'll see how this goes, you guys. I'll let you guys know how I like them. If you guys know of any natural deodorant that you guys already use and love and rave about, let me know because I would love to try it out so that way, you know, I can just purchase it and try it. <laughs> Diving into the makeup, the first thing that I got is this from Melt Cosmetics. As soon as I saw it on their Instagram, I was like, I need to have this. Pretty much, this is like a blush duo. I don't know, I just, it just looks so pretty to me. And on days that I don't want to wear like heavy highlight or anything like that and I just want a nice glowy blush type of thing that looks kind of like a highlighter um I was like this this looks like it's it you know so I just think it looks so pretty let me go ahead and swatch it that's pretty wow look how pretty this looks Ooh, I can't wait to put this on my face and let me do a swatch of the lighter shade wow okay this does definitely this definitely looks like a highlighter Wow, that's really pretty. Look, that is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell. Can you see? That looks so pretty. But I, uh, this is it. This is it right here. This is exactly what I pictured it, and I cannot wait to put this on my face. But um, yeah, so this is in the color Buzz Kill. But. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to put that on my face. <laughs> Next item is from P Patrick Ta. So this, I actually have gone into Sephora um, to try and find it. And all the t every single time I go in there, it's sold out. Completely sold out. But thankfully, online, it's available. But this is their major brow shaping wax in the color clear. Um, I've been dying to see how this works. How do you even open this with them? Oh, so this is what it looks like. It is clear, but every time I go on their Instagram and I see them like using it on a model or like somebody using this, it just, 
it just really helps the brows, you know? So right now I have not touched my brows ever since like we went into quarantine. Like I'm telling you, I haven't done nothing to me. <laughs> um, so I haven't done nothing to my brows. I haven't touched them. I, I'm just letting them do their own thing. And right now they need a lot of help. So I was like, you know what? I need this in my life. I feel like it would help me. So I can kind of like also know how to like start plucking my brows and everything because i'm telling you i haven't touched them and i'm so scared of touching them because i know i can get a little bit carried away and i can just make them super thin and that is not what i want so yeah i'm not trying to mess up my brows so i was like you know what i mean let them just do its own thing and then hopefully after you know my brow girl is back i can go back with her and she can like help me like fix them but right now i was like let me just try to do my own thing with makeup next few items are all about rave beauty because it is blowing up everywhere um i just i've seen some reviews and i oh my god like the products look so beautiful the foundation is what i'm mostly excited about so i definitely got my hands on the foundation so this is what it looks like and i got the color 230N, that's supposedly the shade that I was matched to um, on their Sephora site. So I'm like praying that this is my color. But yeah, this is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. And oh my God, uh, I'm telling you, like I saw some of the reviews and it just makes the skin look so beautiful, luminous and dewy and uh, that's what I want. So um, anyways, I love that it comes like in this type of packaging. It looks like a big concealer to me, but I love it. I just think it looks really cute and everything. But I think this is going to be my color. Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. It just blended into me. So yay, I'm excited. So I can't wait to play with these products. Um, if anything i'll probably do a look for you guys on instagram with them but yeah i got my hands on the foundation i also got my hands on their liquid blush so there's the liquid blush is something that a lot of people are loving and i have been lately into also liquid blushes other than the powder but on natural days when i don't want to wear too much makeup a liquid blush i found i have found that like it looks so beautiful on the skin it just looks like you're naturally actually blushing um but i got the color happy and this is what it looks like i love the way that the handles are because i'm gonna tell you guys something i don't have a lot of strength in my fingers so when she was talking about like the packaging um making it for making it easier for people that have arthritis or like any other disability that you it cannot give you strength to open up things i was so happy <laughs> i was like oh my god this is so cute and so thoughtful so i love everything about like her brand but um ooh, okay this looks like a really beautiful color so oh yeah this is definitely some like my type of blush <laughs> wow a little goes all wow you only need a little bit this is so crazy oh, but it looks so pretty okay i'm excited like i said I'm, I'm like so excited to play with makeup because i feel like i haven't been playing around with makeup too much but now that i i order this it makes me excited again to want to play with it and make like videos for you guys <laughs> but anyways that is not the only blush color i got i also got it in the color bliss which is a more like everyday more like a more toned down color so this is what it looks like and let me see Ooh, yes Oh wow, she pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh yeah. This is, oh, for sure on natural days. Hell yes, look at this. I love how it feels. Like, it's, it, wow, this looks really pretty. But the finish of it, like, it feels kind of like velvety and it kind of like dries down. Like, it really melts into your skin. Like. I don't know, it's kind of like really pretty. I'm so glad I got these two colors because these are for sure colors that I'm going to be using. Moving on, I also got their concealer. So this is their Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. And you guys know I am very, very picky with my concealer. So I'm really hoping that I love this. A lot of people have said that they really love, oh, I think I got a shade too light. This looks really light for me. Um, but this is the color 170W. Yeah, this is, ooh, no, 
this is too light i think i'm gonna try it out anyways just so i can see how i like it and if that way if i love it i can actually order a, another a few shades darker because this is this looks really light for me <laughs> oh my god i think i made a double order Oh my god, I bought another blush of these. Actually, you know what? That's fine because this color looks pretty. So, if I love it, how it looks on my face. Look it! So anyways, the last item that I got from them is their primer, their illuminating primer. Um, I got the little small version just because I, I usually just like to use my own type of primer. But because I also want to like try out their foundation just the way that they made it and everything, I also wanted to test out their primer. So I got the little small size of it. And yeah, I'm gonna see how this works out. But let me go ahead and swatch it so that I can... Ooh. Oh, yeah, this... Oh, wow, yeah, this is gonna make your face really luminous. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I can I can tell. It's gonna really make the face look really nice and beautiful. Feels really hydrating, so maybe I might like it. Maybe I might get the bigger size. But yeah, I can definitely see that it does really help to illuminate the skin. So if you love a very luminous finish, I think you're gonna, I think you guys are gonna like this primer. So, yeah. But yeah, that was the last item that I got from a Rare Beauty. I, I kind of wanted to purchase some of their lipsticks, but right now we're wearing masks, and I'm just like, I don't know, what, like what's well, kind of like the point. Anyways, I have so many lipsticks already that I need to go through that. I'm like, I think I'll just wait for the lipsticks, but. For sure, I wanted to try their foundation and liquid blushes because that's like the number one thing that everybody keeps like talking about. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a review of the foundation. Maybe I can go back to my reviews, how I used to do them, where I would do like the 24-hour wear, not 24-hour wear test, but like the 12-hour wear test and just see how it goes and what, the, what are the pros and cons about it and all that. So let me know if you guys do want me to do a review for you guys before testing it out. But yeah, anyways, that is pretty much it for this haul, you guys. If you guys enjoyed it and you guys missed my makeup videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so that way I know and can continue to do more hauls, reviews, makeup tutorials, and all that stuff. So yeah, anyways, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video. 